as we kick off the matchup in the water. William Cardoso versus Jeremy Flores. Potts, who's going to make this heat? Um, let me have a look into the crystal ball, Joe. Uh, tell you what, it's going to be a, a, a tricky one. I think, uh, you know, Jeremy obviously got variety. Uh, Cardoso's got the power. So he couldn't wait to put the jersey on the Karamas to move forward. Battling for position on this one. Flores trying to get behind Cardoso. Achieves it there with an aggressive move. Let's see if he can pay off. And it'll just be a short ride too deep. Giving William priority. Now that Jeremy's given up that priority, now he's going to stay busy. Now he's free to roam. So he's outside of that priority battle, and he'll get started. Going to turns. First section, big vertical. Showing some power. Trying to force that second turn, and he felt how uncomfortable that was, so he let go. Yes. Wanted to just bury that rail with so much force. There was nothing wrong with that. I thought, that was, uh, I thought he was on his way there to a, a fairly good score. And then recovered it this way. Yeah. A nice little inside wave, beautiful first turn. Second turn, kind of got caught there on the rail just a little bit, but for me, I want to see him right out of that, you know, finish off the wave. Jeremy flicking the board out there, and, you know, that's just, uh, that's just the, uh, you know, Jeremy wears his heart on his sleeve, doesn't he, Joe? You always know how he's feeling. William Cardoso has the wave break on his back, but he'll punch back with a frontside wrap. Here comes the ball. Perfect timing off the lip. Wraps it again. Here comes the finish. Coils up, slaps it shut. The powerful Panda will take the lead with that effort. 17.20 to go. A tricky takeoff when that wave breaks on your back, but Cardoso is so strong. Right here, watch how much water goes flying through the air on these turns. Nice, powerful surf in there from William. And then finishing strong, so a good opening right there for Cardoso. Nice tight arc, bottom turn, jams it up through the lip, and we had to zoom right out if we wanted to catch that spray going up into the heavens, straight into that next maneuver. Beautiful transition there from William Cardosa. You can see just a little bit quieter upper body as opposed to Jeremy Flores, and that's the beauty of surfing, Joe. Everyone's got a different approach, a different way of showing their game on the face of the wave. The two-time pipe master. Will set up inside a hollow section, comes out clean. There's the roundhouse cutback, setting up the lip to hit. Will carve through it. Another clean redirect for Flores, punching out the finish. There's the best exchange of the matchup so far. Yeah, great contrast in styles. You know, Jeremy, a little bit more upper body movement. Flares out the arms. That's what does all the damage. And then Jeremy, nice little cover up there. Beautiful wrapping turn. You can see how he pivots a little bit more off his upper body. Right there, you can see the, the, the body language from Jeremy Flores, <laughs> unmatched. Beautiful surfing there from Flores to finish off that wave. And a nice little tube ride to start it off as well, Joe. Nice clean little barrel. One of the best tube riders in the game, both front side and back end. Comes out that one nice and clean. This is going to be a great score for Jeremy. Big wrapping turn, kept that rail nice and clean through those maneuvers. And then right through this inside section here, look at the body language that Jeremy Flores brings to the game. Also very, very powerful. And again, look at this turn right here from Jeremy, just pivoting off that back foot. Brings it through the inside. And now Williams still with priority for this wave. Bowling section. Cardoso likes the look of it here. And just needs a 3-8-4 for a lead change. Hard off the bottom. There's that power off the top. Quick sweep on that next section. Wants to form it up in the pocket again. It snapped the slide. Somehow hung on with a change in the slope of the wave. And he'll slap it shut. So now coming into the beach, we'll see what he's up to now, Pots. 5-1-7 start, put a lot of energy into all of those maneuvers. And now Jeremy all alone will take advantage of this fun looking right. Attacking that carve again. 
so much motion, starting with the upper body on that wrap. And we'll just continue to throw in that front side carve. Here comes the lift to hit, explodes oh. off the top. Flores, looks like he's opting for the run around as well with 12.15 on the clock. Welcome back to Paradise and Perfect Waves. Locking in to this wave with a lot of energy. William Cardoso will hold that rail line. Connects again on his second hook. Drives through that third front side wrap and looking for the finishing move. Cardoso jams it shut. Rodriguez loving it. There's the reaction from his support crew of the Brazilian Storm. See if he comes close to it here, Potts. Yeah, well, bigger wave, and let's see what he does on the opening turn. Very important there. Beautiful maneuver from Cardosa. Great transition between turns. You can tell the, the difference in style, Joe. Less upper body movement from Cardosa, but that doesn't mean that the maneuvers aren't any less dynamic. Let's see this first maneuver here. Good, solid overhead wave from Cardosa. Beautiful bottom turn, and then just tore the absolute living daylights out of that first section. You can see how he sits on that back foot, keep those fins engaged, and then straight into the next turn. So beautiful transition between those two turns there, and again, just ripping that wave to pieces. This is definitely going to be Cardoso's best score. I think just due to the size of the wave, it just gave him a little bit more room to move. Just showcase that power surfing that Cardoso is right at the top echelon of the sport with. And then jams it shut on the end, so great start, great finish. It's getting that thing as sticky as can be. Such yep. a unique sound, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and everyone has a different preference on how they wax up their boards. Back to this one, Cardoso. Vertical jam. He's still waiting for his score before to factor in. Judge is still thinking about it. It's going to be a good one. And now finally in, he does get the lead change. 4.67, he needs to go and he needs to do something special. He kept himself nice and tight on the corner. Draws out the bottom turn, pulls in under the hood. Flores gets the exit. Hard off the bottom, beautiful down carve. Sets up the lift, crushes it. Big belt on the inside for Flores at the buzzer. <laughs> Something he's done time and time again in his career with his back against the wall. And goes to his favorite move, sit inside the pit. And add a lot of drama to the end of that heat pot. Yeah, absolutely. You can see he comes off the bottom, check turn, sits nice and tight in the tube right, comes back out and then starts to go to town on the open face. It was the biggest set behind, but Kaidosa was too deep on it. Jeremy finishing off strong, 4.67 is what is required just looking at that wave what are you thinking i feel like he did enough i yeah. feel like with the barrel and the combinations yeah the energy he threw down judges are still waiting to put in the decision what a battle from both of these athletes cardoso had the lead towards the end jeremy sat with priority and all of a sudden we start to see those little lines pop up in deep water as it hit started hitting the reef Okay, so with it being a tube ride, Joe, the only other tube ride in this event so far was the 6.67. And there it is. A 7.07 for Jeremy Flores. Finishes off with the best number of the matchup to take out William Cardoso on the final wave. Under a minute to go. That's what Flores is famous for. Unbelievable matchup, showing a lot of power and confidence from the longtime veteran representing France against the top 34.